What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Juno. Uh, thank you all so much for the support you've been showing me on Golden Record so far. We broke a thousand streams on Spotify in the first 48 hours of it being out, which is very exciting. So thank you all so much for listening and sharing with your friends and your families. I could not do this without y'all's support. Y'all are the best, so thank you. Now, I'm very excited to start this new series here on Instagram, where over the next few weeks, I'm going to be breaking down each track off of the Golden Record individually, talking about how these songs came to be, the deeper meaning behind them, and even giving you a little peek under that production hood and showing you what's going on in Ableton with each track. Now, with this being the first one off the album that we're doing, I want to give you a little background on the Golden Record itself. For those of you that don't know, this was supposed to just be a quick and easy, like, 10-track lo-fi EP for me that I could just kind of bang out and put out there. But I'm always trying to one-up myself, and I very quickly realized that this little lo-fi EP wasn't going to cut it with one-upping the last album for me. So I'm like, hmm, what can I do? Well, fast forward to today, and we've got this 15-track full album that is now my sonic representation of humanity. I can't wait to dig into it a bit further with y'all, so let's go ahead and start this off with the first track off the album called Greetings. Let's get it. So when you first hit play on the golden record, this is what you hear. And that is the actual data sound of the images on the Golden Record itself. If you were to pick up the Golden Record out of the space probes, put them onto a turntable and drop a needle on it, this is the sound that you would hear. So it just kind of made sense for that to be kind of the initial sound that welcomes you to the album. So the next major component of the track is the greetings that are in 55 different languages. Now these are samples pulled directly from the golden record. These are actually the greetings that are on the actual record. And it just made sense, you know, this is the first track on the album. It's a greetings, a hello, welcome to this album, this music that I've made for y'all. And so I just wanted to drop these in here and have it be a tie in back to the samples of the actual golden record, but also like, hi, welcome, hello, you're about to go on a journey. So so that's what these are. Now you can see that I've got a beat repeat as well as like a vocoder and a couple another beat repeat over here. There's some EQ going on as well. The idea was just to make it all sound a bit more technical, a bit more glitchy. You know, I kind of liked the idea of maybe someone's discovering this record after it's been floating in space for millions of years. And so because of that, there's some artifacts. It's not going to be crystal clear, pristine audio. Hello to you too. So the last bit of this track is the musical spine of the track, and it's called Claire de Lune. It's a classical piece of music written by Claude Debussy, and it is made up of three different elements all basically playing the same part. So I have a piano, an electric piano, and a synth. Now each one of these accomplishes kind of a different task for me in the overall mix, but here's what they all sound like when put together. Now each one of these has different EQs and compressors on them, and some of them will have beat repeats and things that match the beat repeats that were on the vocals. The reason I did that was to kind of just have a bit of uh, cohesion between uh, the glitchiness of the vocals and a little glitchiness in this music, just to make it all sound like it belongs to the same thing. So here's what these parts sound like individually. This is a piano. And that piano, I believe, is the soft piano from Labs, uh, free software, highly recommend it. If you're not checking out Spitfire Labs, you need to get on that. But, you know, it's got the left hand and the right hand. And this is sort of like, you know, this piano sound is the kind of spine of the piece. I didn't want it too, too glitchy. I wanted it to exist in this classical world still, which is why I wanted a very traditional kind of piano in there. Now, when you bring in this electric piano, the electric piano is where a lot of our bass is coming in from. So you can hear the higher parts are very quiet, you know, that that the, the right hand of this uh, electric piano is really not doing a lot for the overall piece. It's just there to uh, kind of add a little extra texture in the higher frequencies for the piano part itself. 
And then last but not least in this is the synth. And this is where we get our space. <laughs> this is what makes it sound all kinds of spacey. And so the electric piano gives us our bass, the synth gives us some of our spacey higher frequencies, and then this classic soft piano is just what's there to help tie it all, keep it cohesive, keep it sounding classical, and uh, not too electronic too soon on this album. So here we go, this is all of it all together. So that just about wraps up this very first track breakdown off of the Golden Record. I cannot wait to keep diving into these more with y'all over the next few weeks. Till then, keep listening and sharing the project with your friends and your families. Thank y'all so much. I'll see y'all on the next one. Shalom.